hello friends welcome back my name is pk in this video you will learn how to create a sales order tracker in google sheets this is the ready to use template and you can track your sales order using this template in this template we have given dates then we have the customer name then product id then we have the product name sales person unit sold unit price then we have the total sales value, payment method, sales region and order status. In the last we have some comments. So you can just fill this information. On the top you can see some charts also. They are automatic chart. These are data driven chart. You can just change the data automatically chart will be changed. For example, let's say here I'm just entering one date and then I'm selecting the customer name then I'm selecting product ID product name will be filled automatically unit price will be filled automatically you can select here the name of the salesperson then just input the unit sold automatically total sales value will appear you can select the payment method then the region and if you want to and then you can select the order status for now I'm just putting pending and if you want to put some comments you can put that so whatever we just have entered the data will appear so here you can see there's a date first October is appearing here now I will explain you step by step how you can create this in Google sheet we have another sheet here that is product master we have here product ID product name and unit price okay now let's start without delay so I'm just going to add a new blank spreadsheet so first thing we will create here product master let's close this and we will copy the same product master data this is some sample product information just paste as value now just select this align this center and align this middle reduce the font size and then go to the border take some lighter color let's say this one and click on all borders now select the header only then take let's say this color and take the white font and make this bold slightly bigger go to the view so uncheck the grid lines okay so our product master is ready now let's add another sheet and this sheet we will keep the name as sales order now we have we have this sales order sheet the existing one so we will take the same columns and even i'm taking the same data for now then i will explain you how we can create this copy and from the row number 15 or 16 or even 17 you can just paste as value shift control b so we have some data here now we will quickly format this data select this and take some additional record or you can take till the last also now let's put some border so i'm putting the same color border this one the lighter color all border align this center middle reduce the font size 8 okay now select the header and take some darker color let's say this one or this one and take the font color this one and make this bold slightly bigger now we can make the comment slightly bigger and the payment method also and even every column we can make slightly bigger all right so this is visible properly now we will select the dates and we will make here a calendar so that if i double click here the calendar should be appear in this column select this till the end just right click and then go to the drop down select here is valid date and click on done just close this now if I click here and then this calendar will appear and I select that date will appear so that date should come in the same format so what we can do again select this column go to the format number and go to the custom number format and here we will put this format D dash MMM dash bye 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 and click apply format has been applied you can see if i double click select any date so it will come in this format let's delete this okay now here we have the customer name 
okay now we will select this customer name and you can make it drop down if you want just right click and click on drop down automatically it will create the drop down for unique customer you want to give some color for this specific customer you can just give it like this and click on done so we have here customer name for the product id also we can create the drop down select the product id till the end just right click and click on drop down so this is the drop down if you want to create again the color for this you can select it from here but for now i'm just keeping it as it is just click on done all right product name we will get from the product master so we can delete this for the salesperson we can create and uh, unit sold we will input but unit price we will use from the product master total sale value will be the formula the payment method will be drop down sales region also we can create a drop down or we can keep it fixed free text the comments we can remove for now rest all we can make the drop down so we are getting this one option convert to drop down chips so you can click here so this is converted you can see okay and if you want to fill till the end you can just fill and you can remove this so this will come automatically similarly here select these three control d then just come up and from this row you can simply delete okay so we have proper drop down all right now we will put the formula here to get the value for the product name so we can use vlookup function vlookup select the product id comma and then go to the product master and select column a to c comma product name is on column 2 so put 2 comma 0 close the bracket hit the enter we are getting here product name now we can use the if error function if error then this should display blank close the bracket hit the enter okay so we have this formula now we want to apply this formula automatically so what we can do we can use here array formula array formula this one and then here in place of c18 we can put c18 colon c and just close the bracket hit the enter so we are getting the automatically if you select anywhere the product name will appear okay similarly for the unit price we can put the same formula we can simply copy this formula and we can paste that here apply the same formatting now only thing is we will use 3 in place of 2 because this unit price in the product master is on column c okay so total sales value we will put this multiply this okay so we can use here again array formula and that array formula will be this colon f multiply then we will take this colon g close the bracket hit the enter we are getting that but here we are getting the zeros to get the rid of these zeros we can use here if unit sold we can put here a unit sold which is f18 f18 colon again put f18 equal to blank then blank else just put this one now just hit the enter put here f also and then hit the enter so we are getting the formula and here we are getting blank we can see okay so we have put all the formulas everything now we will create the charts so let's go to the view so uncheck the grid lines the first chart we will create like here we have created that is sales by product so let's go to the insert and insert a chart we have inserted a blank chart and we will create a column chart so let's make it smaller like this and the first row we can make the title so what we can do we can just increase the row height of the first row and select till the end till here use merge cells and take the background let's say this one font white and the font area rounded size around 30 or 25 and align this center and middle 
and we can put here sales okay now let's put this here make it slightly bigger double click and we will add the data just click here so first to add the data we will put here product so this is by product name select this product d17 till the end okay and just click on add another range and here we will take the column h which is total sales this one okay in the second range select total sale value till the end click on ok and scroll it up we can see our chart is looking like we have few product but it is in the chart you can see it is repeating the product digit a then digit a here also so we can just click on this aggregate now we have the unique and the aggregation is sum automatically okay now let's go to the customize and chart style and click on 3d so it is 3d chart just click on the grid lines and uncheck major grid lines now we can change the color of this so just click here and then just change the fill color let's say i'm taking this color okay and we can add the data labels also keep the data label outside so position we can put outside end and select the data label and we can take the font color as bold and black text all right now let's add one chart title also so to add the chart title we can go to the chart and access title chart title we can put here sales by product and let's align this center font color take black and size also take around 12 take 14 here axis size is slightly bigger so we can take around 10 and this data label size also just double click and you can take the font size 10 and for this one just make this bold and here you can just remove this and here you can just make it smaller so take the font color black and font font size 10 all right so this chart is ready now we can make the copy of this and we can paste the second chart here the second chart which we have created that is the sales by region so we can just double click here and go to the setup and we will change the range so the region is here this one sales region okay so we can keep the second option as it is for but for the first one we can take this column which is column j so in place of d just take the j and click on ok now just go to the chain series chart type and just select here this pie chart now in the label it should be sales region and in the value it should be total sales okay label as sales region and value should be as total sales so this chart is ready you can make it 3d from here and just remove the legend so let's take here none just or just add it at bottom so we have here different region now just change the color and take in the same theme just double click on this and take the color let's say this one double click here take slightly lighter and double click here take more lighter all right so this chart is also ready you can make this slightly smaller and make it slightly smaller this chart also and just keep this here we can fill some lighter color in the background also so select this region till here and just fill lighter color or let's take some gray color this one okay now we can make the copy of this one first let's see what we are creating now we are creating sales by salesperson so we can make the copy of the first chart we can keep this here for this one we can change the title so this should be sales by region okay this is sales by salesperson so just double click and we will change here the salesperson range and that range is on column we can see it is e okay so the first one in place of d just take e and click on okay 
we will make the changes here also the this would be salesperson and this would be total sales okay so this is good to go now we will just change the chart type we'll take here bar chart this one and you can make this 3d okay so this is done now let's create the other charts also here we will create this donut which is order by status so we can show the count of order or order sales we can make the copy of this pie and just paste that here just double click so order is on column k okay so we can take here k you can display here the count of orders or if you can display here the value of the sales so let's say i want to display count of the orders so i can delete this and click on ok so here it is showing the order status and the first row is the header so just check this so we have completed pending and in progress we can see now you can make this chart as donut and you can make it 3d also all right so the completed pending and in progress now the last one you can create the line chart by uh, by sale so this chart is the orders by status now let's make the copy of this and paste that here and let's keep this here just double click first we will take it as a line chart then we can change the data also so the data we will take here the date so column a till the end add another range and we will take that is column h total sales click on ok now here add the series as total sales now just go upside and let's see the chart so we can see this chart is appearing here just double click and we can remove the data labels because this is not visible properly so uncheck the data labels you can show here the markers also so you can take you can show here the markers also just take the point size around 2px or it should be in circle line thickness make it 1px only okay so we can see the markers here if you want to increase the marker size let's take around 7 then it is visible properly all right friends so just change it as sales by date so this is automatic now these all charts are connected with the data if you make any change in the data that will be changed for example if i'm changing this 10 to 50 then you can see every chart is changed so friends that is how you can create this sales order tracker in google sheets you can use this for your daily work. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for the watching.